Hello fellow humans and welcome to the madhouse. It's time for another coffee and a chat. It is another round time. I've been in the mood to do quite a few of these lately and in fact I was really tempted the other day but I restrained myself and I calmed down and I've decided to do it now when I'm not so furious. It is another LGBT rant but it's a good one and I have planned to do some other things as well they won't all be LGBT but it is an important part of my life I feel so it will constitute quite a bit it's one of the things that's really ground my gears lately so there will be a lot of it so the other day I was out and about doing some shopping I picked up a few more things from my Christmas shopping list for other people I know I like to prepare well in advance, it saves me money close to the Christmas when I've already spent a lot. Anyway, the thing that happened was, while I was enjoying coffee in Costa's in the town centre, um, much like now actually, although obviously I'm not in the town centre, I was sitting there and watching people, as many writers tend to do, it's quite useful to pick up mannerisms and characters, but these two people one of them in particular really wound me up. One of them, who we'll call Deirdre, she was talking about Jack, that's not his real name, her 11 year old son who had worked really hard and gotten into a local acting troupe and he was doing very well and well she thought and that because he was the only boy among about 20 girls she figured that he would be able to get any role he auditioned for which may or not be true, I don't know. The other lady then, who we'll call Ethel, which I think is a wonderful name by the way, more people should use it, she said something along the lines of, ooh, the lucky bugger. One guy among 20 girls, he must be in heaven. And obviously she meant this in a friendly manner. She had a massive smile on her face when she said it, but she was clearly disappointed when Deirdre didn't respond in the same way. Actually, Deirdre says, Jack is gay. He's, he told me that years ago. F as far as he's concerned, girls are lovely, but they are just for friendships. That's when the smile on Ethel's face dropped. And I was expecting to have to listen to some um, irritating barrage of homophobic drivel. But it wasn't that, which I was pleased about, but I was still annoyed by what followed. She said, but he's 11 years old. How can he possibly know that he's gay, he's too young for that, he'll come round. You'll see, don't, don't worry about it, he'll, he'll be fine. And she quickly changed the subject. Now here's the part where we have to leave Ethel and Deirdre behind because what they had to say after this was not really of per any pertinence. It was quite annoying. I did want to go and say something to Ethel but I'm English and it would cause a scene and public embarrassment and that's something nobody wants. Now, it wasn't so much that Ethel had assumed that Jack was heterosexual, the heteronormativity, while annoying, is understandable given that, mathematically speaking, the majority of people will almost always be heterosexuals and cisgendered. I don't have to like it, but that's the case. Although, a recent survey, I'll put the link to it down below because it's quite fascinating, suggested that a majority of young people did not identify as 100% straight or 100% gay which was fascinating because it suggests that people are no longer applying labels to themselves and just being who they are. Now, this is the part that maddens me. It was perfectly acceptable for an 11 year old boy to be chasing girls, but for him to be aware that he likes boys, it's incongruous, it can't possibly happen. It's just, no, I don't get it. Where is the difference really? At 11, there's almost certainly nothing sexual going on because most boys are still in the part where they think, oh, girls are disgusting, let's go off and play football stage. And maybe they were starting to want to try to kiss some of the girls, but that's about it, no more than that. And there's a social pressure to try and do this from friends and family and even from teachers. So why is he too young to know that he wants to do the same thing to boys? He may have a slight head start on his peers and classmates because 
He already knows that boys are disgusting because, let's face it, he's probably still picking his nose himself. But apart from that, there is no difference. As for where the idea came from in the first place, it's partly my fault and the fault of all queer people, but not just that. Most of us don't realise exactly how we're different until we're about 10 or 11. We know that we are different somehow and we don't quite fit in, but we don't know why. By the time we figure it out, we've also come to internalise various forms of homophobia or transphobia or whatever it may happen to be. And we start to become scared that other people will react badly to us. The fact that when you're 11, the best possible word to describe something as gay is incredibly irritating, but it's still what people use. Because it takes so many of us so much longer to come to terms with who we are, people associate homosexuality with adolescence and adults. And when I say homosexuality, I do just mean any form of sexuality or gender identity that is beyond the cishet norm. It's just saying queerness over and over again, it feels a bit wrong on my tongue. Associating it with adolescence and adulthood means that it is also combined with all of the ideas of sex that are attached to it. So automatically when someone thinks of someone gay they tend to think of something a little more sexualized and they even apply that to an 11 year old boy who has no idea what sex is right now. To be completely honest I have lots more to say but I'm starting to lose the train of thought. I'll just try to wrap it up I'll just try to wrap it up fairly quickly. There is no difference between anyone who is gay, bi, pan or any form of queer and someone who is straight. Some of them may be interested in sex when they get older and some of them will never be interested in sex and that's perfectly fine. But I assure you, if someone at 11 years old has already realised that they are gay and they are okay with it and they are comfortable with it, then they are gay and leave it be. They know it and they are happy with it. So that should be the end of the matter. Nothing more, I'm going to stop now because I'm calming down. I'm feeling good. Calm is good. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think. Do you think that being 11 is too young to know? And if you do think, I would really like an excellent explanation. Or do you happen to think, well, no, if someone has figured out what their identity is, then that's the end of the matter. Let me know, I'm always willing to learn. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe and share. Do all the things because it's great for me and it, well, it makes me happy. And last but not least, I hope you have an amazing day. Goodbye and cheers.